All right, if we could get this started, the sooner we start, then uh, the sooner we end. Yeah, me too. I'm going to go through these papers that were introduced tonight. Hello. All right, we're going to start. I'm going to go through these papers that were introduced tonight. If there are any questions on them, administration is here to answer those questions. Um, these papers will not go to committee, so it's a committee of the whole to ask the questions. The first one I'll start with is number one. Is there anyone who does not want to dispense with the December 26th meeting? Okay. I have any questions about it? <laughs> Marty Great Love. Okay. All right. The second one, let's go to number five. And this deals with um, putting into ordinance what we passed in resolution um, last week. Are there any questions on that? Um, only one. And, uh, okay. It, it is uh, reflected to the letter of the resolution? To, to a piece of the letter of the resolution, yes. Do you want an explanation? Is it written to the letter of the resolution with all the inclusions? Suzette. Madam President, um, I'm Suzette Denslow with the mayor's office. There are everything from, everything that is in here uh, was from the list on the enhancements. Some of the items on the list of enhancements will be added to a separate ordinance that will be introduced next week. Um, and in addition, we clarified one thing that was not in the enhancements, but we did discuss at the council meeting, um, an informal meeting, which is on page two. This is ordinance 2012-230. On page two, in section two, it says, Rich, um, the conveyance is to Bon Secours, Richmond Health System, or an affiliate thereof, or to a designee of bond supports approved by the authority. That language is to, to give bond score the ability to, to have a developer develop the property, and that was the issue about having it be taxable. And so we wanted to make sure they had the ability to do that. Everything else is exactly from the list of enhancements, um, but some of the enhancements will not be in this docu document. They'll be in an ordinance introduced next week. So, but everything that's in here from the enhancements is exactly as it was in the enhancements. And do you call this off the top what's coming? The, what's coming is the uh, EDA agreement with the CAO, correct? And Byron, do you, well, the, actually what will be in there, some of what will be in there will be based on discussions that Mr. Marshall will be having with the chair of the EDA over the next week. He couldn't accomplish that by this week because the chair of the EDA was on vacation this past week. He was out of the country. As it relates to West Hampton or Lee Street uh, or both? I believe it's mostly Lee Street, but it may also be the West Hampton property. And just a, as a heads up, that will be introduced next Monday, and then we will hold a special meeting to pass it. And that timing of the difference was simply because Rich Johnson wasn't in the county for the last week. But we're trying to, we were meeting the goal that council had asked us to of having everything done by this council before the end of the year. Yes, sir. Well, I'm sorry, I didn't want to interrupt. Uh, Stenslow, uh, the wording here on uh, the section that you referenced in the beginning. Uh, shall be conditioned upon the authority's agreement to lease the property to Bon Secours dash Richmond Health Center or an affiliate thereof or to a designee uh, of Bon Secours approved by the authority. The ors in there would indicate to me that any one of these entities can do it, uh, but Bon Secours Richmond Health System, uh, are they by definition a non-taxable entity from a real estate tax point. I mean, I, I want to make it crystal clear that the owner, or excuse me, the lessee of this property will be paying real estate taxes and 
I don't want any uh, nuance in there to prevent that from happening because that'll be a huge gaping hole in our plans for the revenue for this development. Mr. Hilbert, I believe, and Byron will correct me, I believe that's already included in the memorandum of understanding you have. It is. And it, will, it will also be included in the co-op agreement between us and EDA that they must put that in the lease with Fonsecourt. That it will be, they will pay taxes mm -hmm. or payment in lieu of taxes. Equal to the tax rate? Yes. On an annual basis? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. The, uh, and will that document, the memorandum of understanding, come back to this body for sure. approval? Okay. All right. I just I don't, I don't want any loopholes there by which uh, some of these dollars are going to escape us. I think it's very important that uh, we said what we were going to do, and I want to make sure that all the parties involved appreciate that the city is going to enforce this uh, to the extent possible. That's our goal, too. Okay, well, great. Thank you. And I, and I knew that it was, and I didn't doubt that. I just wanted to make sure that we didn't have some escape clause there, which could have been a whoops, and then uh, we'd have been out $288,000 uh, for the remainder <laughs> of our lifetimes, if not further. Uh, so thank you. Thank you. It's Campbell. And also, I think that um, I'd like to thank my two colleagues, Marty and Bruce, for their hard work on this. Because um, you know, if we just had them asking all the questions, and I know that you know you got involved and I got involved, but it was really Marty and Bruce that really got the ball rolling mm -hmm. and didn't just rubber stamp something just for the sake of Mr. Mayor to have it done. So I thank Marty and Bruce for bringing all the questions and. And I mean, you and I had so many conversations, Bruce, and all that about, and some things I didn't fully understand. And with Mr. Marshall's help, too, I want to thank Mr. Marshall and Suzette. But, um, so I don't want to forget that Marty and Bruce, you know, started this in the beginning, too. Madam President. Yes, sir. To her point, um, I, 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 I think it's gone too long and said that it was Paul Goldman who helped mm -hmm. craft these enhancements. Um, right over the telephone, uh, we went down the list one by one and consulted with all of the parties before we moved forward with anything. So I asked him last week if he wanted attribution, and he sort of said no. And now he's saying, well, maybe so. Uh, but uh, we thank him for his work in pulling together those enhancements and getting that email out to everybody so that everybody could be on one page. So you thought this was a good deal? Thank you, Mr. Joe. Mr. Uh, Samuels? We crafted it so it could be a good deal. Well, like it, he, can uh, we, let's do one at a time. Madam President. And Mr. I certainly um, want to, oh. I apologize. Thank you. Sorry. Uh, to Ms. Uh, Tariva's point here, I know she doesn't like it when I call her Ms. Trammell, uh, that <laughs> Uh, we have, I, I think this was, uh, and I, uh, forgive me if I haven't acknowledged uh, the contributions of, of uh, you all, Mr. Tyler, as well as Mr. Jewell, and, and uh, I appreciate Mr. Goldman's volunteer activity uh, on making this uh, uh, work, and certainly his input, I, I want to say, was, uh, was very helpful, and uh, uh, he, uh, I believe that he had reached out on uh, this matter, and so I, I do appreciate uh, his work on this, and it, it's not everybody that would volunteer their time uh, and effort on this, and I, I appreciate that. So uh, forgive me if I, I know there's been plenty of media reports about this uh, situation, and I uh, want to publicly acknowledge everyone's uh, assistance in, in making sure that this uh, that this happened, it was a, certainly a team effort, and, and I appreciate it. And lastly, I do want to say that we wouldn't have had a deal uh, without one being proposed in the first place. So I uh, certainly appreciate uh, Mr. Hicks and uh, Ms. Denslow and their uh, meeting with us, <coughs> and, and uh, we did want to acknowledge.
acknowledge the mayor for originally uh, putting up this idea and Mr. Marshall. Uh, so I think it was totally a team effort. I think we got the best result in the end. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Taylor. Ms. Robertson, did you have something to add? No, I, 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 I didn't want to suggest that it wasn't important. That wasn't what I'm suggesting. What I am saying is that, you know, I, I think there were lots of discussions that were had by lots of people, and I think some provided more than others. Uh, but I think what happened in this entire process that there was a willingness of all parties that were involved to re-scrub this deal, to listen to advice from every source that it came from, um, and that everybody's contribution added value in the structure, restructuring of this deal to, the, to get it to the point that it, it, it is at the present time. And, um, and so I do think that it was a, a, a good demonstration of, of collaboration of uh, people bringing to the table their recommendation and their expertise for a great cause. And what was brought to us um, was, has certainly been enhanced in the process. And, and major contributions were made by some folks, much more than others. Uh, but everybody's contribution, uh, I think, is valuable. And at the end of the day, we've demonstrated that with, with, when we all try to put, um, um, contribute what we have to contribute in the process, but there is always room to improve upon. And that's the lesson that I take away from this is that Regardless how great a deal it is when it hits the table, there's always an opportunity to really scrub it a whole lot more and, and be amazed at what else can be, what can come out of it. So I, my thanks to everybody that had anything at all and to great contributions to, to offer to, to get us to where we are. Thank you, Ms. Robertson. Any other comments? Good job done by all. There you go. Okay, um, let's take number three and number four together because I think they sort of go together. You wanna, who's gonna read us on that? Lee, you wanna tell us a little about these two papers? Lee and Ray. Basically, paper number four is the, is the third leg of that, that uh, removal of services from, from the North Boulevard site. This would, this would allow us to uh, the location of the RPS facility services, and it would be the land before, as a part of this, it would be improvements to the site to work on the site, and it would house um, RPS's metal shop, wood shop, and various other functions. Um, this is kind of that you know, third leg of moving the existing uses of all of the Boulevard site to allow that site to be used for other purposes. Um, and uh, really, this is this is the replacement for the Brook Road site that we talked about previously. Um, the, 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 this will allow us to make a final move of the property off of that firm site. This is what we've been working on. This is just that third leg of the three, three piece process. Um, does this include any uh, demolition or clearing of the existing site? This is just for the, um, the acquisition of the site, okay. which would include the, the, the improvements to the site to go there and make that site. The answer is no. Not the not existing not site. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Councilman, did you report there is money in the budget to clear <coughs> the site? <coughs> Yes, sir, Mr. Elmer. Do we have a, uh, a council district location for this project? 1501 Commerce Road. Is it? Is it? <coughs> it's in the 6th district. 
May I ask another question? Yes, sir. Thank Please you, do. Uh, Mr. Robertson, were you part of these discussions, I guess, at all? Or? I'm not happy to say that I have not been uh, to the degree that I would like to have been. And uh, my question is, is relates to the budget uh, for this project is whether or not that money um, actually included in this adopted budget or the reappropriation. I tried to get some answers to that. I went to the planning commission meeting today hoping I would get some answers to that, but it was on the consent agenda and so it was adopted and approved by the planning commission very early uh, within the five, first five minutes of the meeting and I, and I missed the meeting. Uh, I call Mr. Bechler to try to get more detailed information on budget. Um, he has attempted to provide me with some information after my phone call to him this afternoon about 3 o'clock, but I have not had an opportunity for a discussion on that. Uh, thank you, Ms. Robinson. Thank you, Madam President. Hmm. Any other questions on this? Well, Mr. Jewell. Yeah, uh, Mr. Marsh was here. The CNT could answer that question. Yes. Uh, those funds were applied to the adoption budget. Within the public works budget, we had placed about a million dollars to deal with uh, building relocation, either through leasing or purchasing. So those funds were budgeted at about a million, 52,000 in the public works budget. And that's where we're getting 800,000 from. The 1.9 million in the debt budget, which is agency one in the general fund. Those funds were probably debt calculation originally when we adopted the budget, but because of the refinancing we've done since the budget was adopted, it has generated some savings, and that savings is what we're using. So that will not be, there will not be any need for any additional revenue to cover these costs. These costs are already put for the savings or And that transferring of the money, that would be paper number three, correct? That's correct. Are there other questions on this? Comments? Okay. All right, now let's look at paper number two. And that's to authorize the CAO to execute a grant contract between the City of Richmond and Richmond 2015 for the purpose of making a gift of 500000 to Richmond 2015, Hank. Yes, sir. Do we have uh, information as to where uh, our uh, neighbors are on this, being the counties of Chesterfield and, and Rico, as to contributing to this project? Not that I'm saying that we don't need to do this. We do need to do this, but I, I want to make sure that uh, we're still monitoring that situation, and and uh, we're certainly hopeful that they'll do the right thing. Mr. Marshall, can you answer that sure. question? Okay. We met with the county managers from the three counties <coughs> on the 15th of October, <coughs> and each of them is working towards putting money in, putting money towards well, money or in-kind services towards Mr. Richmond 2015. And they're working with their commissions who want to put that amount to it. Okay. So and we've not received a check as of yet. I apologize here. We're looking at uh, this from 20, uh, uh, excuse me, you referred to three counties. I'm assuming you're also putting you know, hand over. Right. Okay. Oh, right. okay. The rest of the race will part of the race will be in all three of those counties. So they're looking at the cost of police services, mm -hmm. the new block roads, those kinds of things, and also some cash. Would, uh, and I have no idea what their fiscal years are, do we anticipate that being included in their next budget, or they weren't really clear as to, they didn't commit anything, I'm assuming. The discussions continue. That's what okay. All right. Great. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Marshall, you lived in Chesterfield? Yes. Okay. And Henry Marcos, and then the city. Chesterfield was like, oh, you're about me. 
I don't know exactly where the route is. I don't think they've decided on the route. I don't think they've decided on the route. They haven't? Not on the county. There's some, there's some recommended routes. And what the counties are doing is looking at what it would cost them to police those. And then they're, they're giving alternatives. And a uh, handover, about seven plus. Handover is looking at a race up near King's Dominion. So that's why they're starting at King's Dominion and coming this way. And they're really time trials. This this um, opportunity to bring these bikes to the city has given a lot of attention all around places. I was in Boston uh, to attend the National Day of Cities uh, conference this week, and everybody's talking about it. So that's a great thing that we've done for the city. Um, I'm interested in knowing how. Have we got to the point that we have a total budget for this develop for this project as to how much it's going to cost us with any type of uh, breakdown and identification of the, all of the potential resources that we would and the sources of those resources for this? There is a very broad budget. It is not down to a line at this point. We're still working. So we have an estimate of what is the total uh, project that's going to cost us? The estimate is around $21 million for the, the race itself and another $45 million for legacy projects. Things that about 4 to $5 million. million. That's off the top of my head. Or what they call legacy projects. Things that would be done if they raised enough money that would continue to go on after that race was over. Still be other races or track or improvements that the city can benefit. Do we have a timeline that we are working toward when we would be able to more definitively define the budget? Is there any part that we're working toward achieving that? There is a timeline. Probably right off the head of the top of my head. What I can do is send the council the answer to your two questions. I can give you the specific dollar amount for the budget rather than my guess. As to, and what the timeline is. And there's actually a meeting on this Wednesday, a phone meeting this Wednesday, where I can see if I can get an update. So I'll send an answer out on Thursday. Okay. Sure. Thank you, Nina. Yes, Mr. Marshall, I just wanted to know if we'd identified corporate partners uh, yes. and any rough ballpark figure revenue bonds. The, the committee will announce in probably in January uh, how much money they have received in pledges. Mm -hmm. But it's significant. Okay, and I hear that the, which is good news, that the counties. Uh, are at the table. Do we have any projected targets for each of them, or have they between any kind and dollar amount? Numbers were recommended to them by mm -hmm. Christmas 2015. Are they, have, they shareable? They have, they have not necessarily agreed with the numbers. And so, are you able to share what those targets are? Yeah, I would prefer not to risk okay. citing the counties at this point. Okay. We still would like to get the money if we can. Okay. And so are we, last question, also looking at other partners, foundations, and yes. others as well? Okay. There are a number so of local it. businesses that have played a significant <coughs> power of And once we finish with local, <coughs> then we'll go to nationals because there's still the Coca-Cola's of the world and the Nike's of the world. Uh, and they, they can't be brought on, won't be brought on, until the TV contract is signed. Mm -hmm. Then they'll know what they get for their major sponsorship. Madam President. Yes, sir, Taylor. Thank you. Uh, lastly, uh, Mr. Marshall, I don't know if uh, you would be aware of this, but the Richmond Redevelopment Housing Authority owns uh, a property in the northwest corner of Griffin Avenue and Brooklyn Park Boulevard. Uh, there's a group that wants to start a bicycle cooperative uh, at that location, and so to the extent that the city could support that, uh, I think that would be 
wonderful if we could do that. I mean, I think that the Redevelopment Housing Authority uh, certainly looks to us for some guidance on uh, projects within the city to support. And I know that they're meeting with the neighborhoods uh, around this side and trying to encourage bicycle rides, which I think is exactly the kind of grassroots thing that we want to support with this 2015 initiative. You know, once everybody come to town and do all the hoopla and then leave and us not have an, a, a legacy project, as was stated, and I think this could be a pre-legacy, pre-event to where we could get people interested in bicycle riding and doing a cooperative is uh, it's very helpful for kids that don't have the ability to have a bike or individuals not having to invest in a bike, but picking one up and then dropping it off kind of works like a library book. Uh, Case and they maintain them and do education and so forth. So I just I did want to mention that and probably would have forgot had I not mentioned it now. So, uh, do you think at our next weekly meeting I could get more details from you? To yes, I could that. I could provide next that. Month. Right. Thank you. For, thank you. Thank you, Madam President. Just to follow up, uh, piggybacking on Mr. Colbert, there are some pre. Uh, 2015 events as well as legacy like uh, environmental. I'm still looking for wonderful insignias on the street uh, that for bicycling. Sure. I have. Cheryl. Hmm? Cheryl. Yes. Have you not seen any? Uh, sir, I have seen plenty. Oh, okay. I'm wanting to see them in a particular district and throughout the city. So. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a bicycle, I mean we have a uh, Richmond Bicycle uh, uh, group of young people, but really to talk about uh, systematically looking across the city and rolling that out, I mean my district and other districts, I think this is more than timely and the sooner the better we start getting people interested in yeah. and looking towards uh, bicycling. So. And I know we have, I think it is Mr. Humboldt. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, I, so maybe it's just a matter of knowing what the plan is to roll out across the city in terms of the shareholders and the community. So. Would you <coughs> you'd like to have Mr. Humble come to one of the committee meetings and explain the plan? Or do you want to be with him one on one? Um, I am, let me say, I'm certainly interested in the 7th District, but I'm, I'm interested in the whole as well and how it all ties together. Uh, so, um, I'd be interested in seeing how it's all going to tie together across the city, including each of the districts. Does that help me? I can have him come and talk to you, or I can, and I can have him come to the committee. That's not appropriate time. Yeah. 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 Jake, can you come to the committee? Do you want to come to land? I would have him come to land use, yeah, I would think. Okay. But Jake can actually tell you all that. He's the He's the Jake Cumberland. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's the guy that can tell you everything about it. I will put Mr. Humboldt in contact with you initially. Yes, <laughs> but, I'm, but I, I'd like to be clear. I'm ready to see the plans uh, for rolling it out across the city. He would be the one who mm -hmm. would best okay. be equipped to do that. Mm -hmm. No pun okay. intended. Right. Roll it out. He could, <laughs> he could roll it out, right. <laughs> Thank are there other questions on that 500,000 to Richmond 2015? Because we're going to vote on all these papers next week, which is why we brought them here, so that anybody had any questions, we can sort of get the answers. Um, Chair, yes, sir. Out, this money was already approved by the council right. in the budget. Mm -hmm. The title just has to change. It's the title of the record. <coughs> okay. All right. Thank you. I think next we have a report from David Hicks on alternatives to incarceration.